The dangers of vaping have become a major topic of concern among parents and health officials. 22 News reporter Ciara Speller tells us how one local school is trying to put a halt on vaping among their students. All the information, all the education, all the talking hasn't worked. These kids are still doing it. They come in many different shapes and sizes, and some even look like items you might find in a classroom. E-cigarettes, sometimes called vapes, have become a popular craze, especially among teens, and many are using these devices during school hours, prompting crackdowns by school officials. Chicopee Comp is one local school doing just that. The assistant principal here at the high school recently sent out an email about the use of vaping on the property, adding that any student caught using these devices will be issued a citation. Assistant Principal Andrew Lamoth's email notes that students have been smoking in the restrooms. Our SRO is going to start issuing fines. Uh, it's a $100 city ordinance violation for vaping in the bathroom. It is a civil uh, citation that does go through the city. We spoke with a neighbor who said they aren't sure these fines will help. They're still going to do it regardless, and a $100 fine will probably fall on the parents. Wilk said if the fine goes unpaid, it could end up in the courts. According to the National Education Association, within the last year, roughly 3 million students have vaped in school. The FDA has also said it plans to place nearly 10,000 ads on vaping dangers in school bathrooms. Reporting in Chicopee, Ciara Speller, 22 News.